Tato Movie Guy, OK. See, as promised, the LFF reviews have continued. Maybe a week after I got home, but it's OK. So this is actually the first time I've ever reviewed a fully-fledged Korean film on this channel, and I cannot believe it's taken me this long to actually do this. Lee Chang Dong's Burning obviously received great praise at the Cannes Film Festival this year. The highly anticipated film has done its legs around most of the film festivals now. Obviously, it did not win the Palme d'Or, even though a lot of people think it should do, and I can see why people are saying this now, and obviously we're here to talk about it. Burning follows the story of Lee jong Su, who is a graduate from school who is a writer. He lives in a little village with his father, who he helps look after a farm. He one day is doing a lot of job delivering and comes across his friend Hei Mi from school, who he has not seen in a very, very long time. A budding little relationship begins and... See, yeah, everything seems good. And then she decides to go away on a mission to Africa, where she comes across a very rich and very different kind of person character called Ben. And they return to Korea and a very interesting menage a trois of the slow burn thriller variety begins. Simple. With burning, patience is a virtue. This is a spellbinding, very deeply layered film, and Lee Chang Dong holds it masterfully. He gives you time to breathe. It's a two and a half hour long venture, and we have all the time in the world, and I have a lot of time for burning. You go from the initial meeting to the relationship after Africa, and obviously the aftermath of what happens in the story. Obviously, like most of everybody else, I will not spoil this film for you. Watch as little as you can of the trailers. Just go in and watch this film. Honestly, it is a true treat. And with Lee Chang Dong, he just is very patient with us. He really wants you to think of the reactions of the characters, the reaction of the surroundings of what's actually happening in Korea is a very important political piece also. Within Korea at the moment there is a big divide between the youth and the elderly. Uh, the poverty line is very, very high. Young people aren't really going into careers that they have been planning on or studying for for a very long time and they end up in dead-end jobs. Very similar to, well, the UK at the moment, but it's a very important point about Korean society at the moment that people are not really getting to where they want but Ben is a prime example of how some of the younger generation are making their way in Korean society and buying Porsches but how does he get the Porsche I won't tell or do we not even know oh my god <laughs> So it is a bit of a spellbinding film, and that's what the essence of Benning is. It doesn't really have a formula to conclusion, it doesn't have a formula to beginning, it just doesn't actually have much purpose, but it's a very interesting journey. When we actually went to see Burning, uh, director Lee was actually there with Steven Yeun discussing the film, and he obviously has base burning off a Murakami and William Faulkner short play about, well, burning barns. And I actually haven't read it. I've actually downloaded the PDF and I'm going to give it a read. But um, obviously with Murakami, he is very similar to Lee Chang Dong's style. He really does focus a lot more about people and... I think that's why there's such kindred spirits, obviously, with Lee Chang Dong also. He used to be a writer. Um, obviously, I've been reading up on him. And he really is the embodiment of what Murakami is. Burning is not your typical thriller. It really is a very interesting character study of various people also. And it's not very typical of a Korean thriller, no doubt, but still, it's just a very refreshing piece of cinema. The actual composition of the way that Lee Chang Dong has actually filmed this. There's a lot of natural blue in it, there's a lot of 
steadiness to how he controls the camera. There is an amazing long take that, again, I'm not going to spoil for you, but this long take is still etched in the back of my mind. It seems like long takes have been a big um, fad this year, <laughs> definitely, but I think that the, this, this particular long shot I purely loved. And there is also a scene when all three characters are on a farm and they're smoking marijuana. It is a very liberating scene and a very twisted yet intoxicating kind of concept. Um, it actually features the North Korean border, which kind of enhances the ambience of this particular scene also. You kind of see it in the trailers, again, try not to, but if you're that interested, maybe go there. Um, but I just couldn't believe what I was watching, it was just so mesmerizing and so translucent. I just, oh wow, I just really loved Burning. Yo Ahin, who plays Lee jong Su, is obviously our title character and the writer. What I found very interesting about his performance is that he doesn't really react to anything and he does get a lot of grief in this film and he does actually go through a lot of situations where you would expect somebody to react and he doesn't and this is the best thing about him. He really just goes on this very interesting journey but he's so melancholic and reserved and you just want to know more about how he's feeling but you just don't get that initial feeling from him. Jon Jong Soi, who plays Haimi, she is a lot wilder, she's a lot more naive. You understand that she's really the linchpin of this story and the essence of what Burning is about. But she really plays this naive young Korean woman very well. You don't really understand her stance in the world or where she's going. She doesn't really have much ambition, is what you kind of see in the film. She doesn't really know who she is yet. And I think it's a very common conception of what some people actually are, especially in this age. And obviously when it comes to Steven Yeun, I really like Steven Yeun in this. This is his first full Korean film. And I think he really doesn't show much within his actual character but you can feel this very dodgy tension inside him and he just really brings the fear into this thriller. Like I said, Burning will not be out in the UK until February and it'll be worth the wait and please go see this in the summer because it's a very amazing cinematic experience no doubt and I think the sold out tickets at London Film Festival really did show the impact of what Lee Chang Nong has brought to cinema this year and I do hope that we don't have to wait too long for his next films and obviously I will be digging more into his back catalogue in due course. Obviously my review will be on my website www.thatmovieguyuk.wordpress.com and my social media is below here somewhere. Obviously Thanks again for anybody that has subscribed recently. I appreciate it. Keep spreading the love if you want. That would be nice. And the rest of my LFF reviews will be coming up in the next week. I promise. I apologize for my haters again. And obviously, as you see on this channel, Dil Danka, Obrigado, Merci Boku, Arigato, Dankeschön, Bitteschön, all the shins. And obviously, never change.